Hi, welcome to today's course on Microsoft Office Word 2019. Today, we're going to take a step further by looking at a numbering system here inside the software. I highly recommend you do as I do because what you see me do today is what you'll be able to do tomorrow without my help. And all I want you to do is to give me your time and attention and I will turn you into the best of word user you've ever imagined. Here, I welcome you to today's project. All right, my name is Win Asafo. Today, this is going to be our starting document, which I will make available to you on the online training library on WhatsApp and then Telegram. If you have access to this video and you want to join the Telegram group for the exercise file, then search for Win ICT Center on Telegram. You're going to find it, join it because it's a public group. Okay, then here is our work and then come into the view tab and then go into this switch windows numbering and blah 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 this is going to be our final project so right here we are going to start things off by looking at how to format the document and then apply our numbering let me switch back to my starting point and this is the document I have in front of me. All right, as you may recall, Control A is going to select everything, or better still, you can go to the editing group of the ribbon and then click on select, choose select all, and that is going to select everything. Now, by default, when you prepare anything in Microsoft Word, it carries the style called normal. And then that is because normal is seen as the default style for Microsoft Office Word. But then I don't want to go normal. Instead, I want to go no spacing. So choose no spacing for the sake of uh, this training purpose. Then I would also change my font here to font called Arial. And then also I will change my font size to 12 for starters. All right. Now, once I am done, I would have to come down here to information and communication technology call click right after that or even click inside any of the regions out there go to paragraph group of the ribbon choose add space after paragraph again press ctrl a to select everything then come to the paragraph group of the ribbon choose a line spacing of 1.15 because this is an exam all right you can also use 1.5 if you so desire but I am going to use 1.15 for this particular project to work. All right, then I'm going to select Sunrise Christian High School. Um, I'm going to uh, bold it and then also come to the paragraph group of the ribbon. Then choose this center alignment to put things at the center of the document. Next, I would select information and communication technology and then come down to base font group i'm going to make my way to underline click on a drop down arrow and you have a couple of underline styles out there including the color so let me actually choose these um, double lines right here then click on a drop down arrow come down to underline color then here you have the option to choose any color of your choice the choice is yours but then for the sake of you and i i'm going to leave it set to automatic then come down here and then select the first line right down there so that is how to change your underlying color by the way next we're going to continue by um formatting this particular document okay All right i'm going to select here that is click to make sure your insertion cursor is blinking down there then scroll all the way down make sure the cursor is blinking right down there hold on the shift key on the keyboard then click after the last word that is going to select that range for you then what we are going to do is we'll go to the paragraph group of the ribbon then come down here to numbering very important this is what we want click on the drop down arrow for numbering and you've got a couple of numbering styles over here this is your numbering library with a lot of numbering styles right down there for you all right let's say i want to choose this one right here so i'm going to click to select this one and here notice um we've got a couple of things going on out here and this is just a raw test which has been typed and other things like that well if you also want to know how to get this 
script out here notice this guy over here is called superscript so this is our superscript and then this is our subscript so to actually make a subscript and superscript you have to select you have to first of all type but then if you don't want to type then you have to click to make sure the command is selected first but i'm not going to i'm not going to show you that for now because i already have some things typed out here which i'm going to use for that demonstration purpose so i'm going to select these two then come all the way to the font group of the ribbon choose this command called subscript click on it and now notice the two has become sub then let me actually select this one this second two there after the seven then let me give it super script and this time you'll notice i've got the difference this one is gone up and this one has come down and that is the function of these two commands right here but for the sake of you and i i'm going to go to my quick access toolbar then click on undo undo twice and then to get rid of that and then that is how to get to this particular um superscript and then subscript all right so if you want to zoom you have to click on this plus or minus but that is not how i work though i hold the control key on the keyboard i use my mouse scroll to get that result over there and if you missed my introductory class then check it out on telegram win ict center because you have to you know get yourself acquainted with the software first before going all the way to the advanced tricks i'm showing out here now the next thing i'm going to do is i would select this region this are supposed to be possible answers then here under the paragraph group i'm going to choose this it's called increase indent it's move your paragraph further away from the margin so once i click on it notice it has actually changed things up you know i've got number one a b c d that is what i want actually i really love it so the same thing i'm going to do so after number two to here i'm going to actually take advantage of that again take advantage of that again you know i have to keep doing it one after the other but then later i will show you how to even do things faster for the sake of this movie i just want us to you know get around with it and then get ourselves acquainted with the software and then we know our ways in and out so i would continue doing this until i hit the final project until i hit the final page out there all right now i've come to the final number which is number 10 right here then i've also got um this you know i have to leave a space in between you know let me go to my work my final work out here let me switch to my final work you notice that at the end of every day you've got a nice space out there to differentiate it from the first numbering and then the second numbering and that is what i want us to do currently so here i'm going to click right here go to my home tab then come to the paragraph group of the ribbon choose line and paragraph space and this time add space after paragraph you know you have to do that you know keep doing it until you hit the edge you know i mostly love to use format painter for things like this but then i will treat format painter in a different movie you know uh, so you just take your time and then do this and i assure you you're gonna get the best you ever wanted to get take your time and make things simple format things and then make your work stands out of the multitude and now that i am done doing all these things i need to highlight everything and why do i want to highlight well it is pretty simple i want it to look like this you know let me go back to my view switch window and then here you notice that i've got double columns you know one two three four five and then continue six seven eight nine ten so that is what i want to do and there is a very nice line between uh these two columns and that is what we are going to do next so let me go back to my numbering work then this time we have to go to layout because anything you know uh, of that sort have to do with layout 
right so i have my layout here then i'll go to page setup then click on columns now i have single column which you can see by default one is selected which means i only have one column when i click on two you know i've got this and then if i should go three you know i've got this left right and then the last one more blah 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 and this is what i want up comes our presets that is our custom margins dialog box right in front of us for now i am not going to waste time right here what i want us to do is to choose two columns and then always make sure there is a line between i actually used it earlier so it remains there but by default you're not going to see that thing over there okay and then apply to make sure it is set to selection because i made a selection over here before coming here then click on ok and here is our final project right in front of us and if you want to share this with somebody or you want to print it out that maybe you want to share it with somebody that you don't want the person to touch it or to move anything away or whatsoever then you have to save this as a pdf and i'm going to show you how to do that go to file button click on save as click on browse and then this time i want to put it right here desktop numbering this is the folder i created for this particular project then i'm going to change the save as type from web document to pdf very simple like that then click on save and once you click on save it's going to open in your default pdf opening app which is what i've got here and then once i am done with something like that well i have the project right in front of me very beautiful out here and friends i would like to hear from you i would like to get your feedback i would like to see how you are doing once you finish this work take a picture of it share it with us let's see how you are doing thank you